listening to the Smash Bros. Cast, episode 46. I'm your host, N64 Josh, my co-host and sparring partner, Nightcrawler. What's up, dude? Hey, how's it going? It's going awesome, man. It's going awesome. Hey, before we get too far into this, if you guys want to get yourself a free book from Audible, go to audibletrial.com slash SBC. Pick up something awesome like Blood, Sweat, and Pixels or Ready Player One. The chair I'm sitting in is from OP Seat. Guys, if you need a gaming chair, go to N64Josh. Or desk, go to n64josh.com slash OPC. You automatically save $10 at checkout. Lastly, if you want to get yourself an extra podcast for me each month, you can go to patreon.com slash n64josh. Just a dollar. Get you uh, get you that show. Thanks for the support, guys. I appreciate everybody that has signed up. You guys are amazing. We uh, we we do have we do have a few announcements we can get to. SBC tournament is tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, 9.30 a.m. is check-in, okay? We have 35 entrants, which is crazy. What are we going to do with the top eight? What are we going to do? So we are going to be streaming it here on Josh's channel starting at uh, 7 o'clock Pacific time. So all these times that we're talking about are Pacific times. Details are on the uh, the page. What What's the, uh, the landing page, Josh? N64josh.com slash smash tournament. And that will take you guys over to the uh, challenge page and you can get signed up if you want or check the bracket. Um, We'll be self-recording results up until uh, we get top eight and then we're going to be streaming all those games. Um, Games have a different rule set before we hit top eight. They're going to be best of three. We have uh, guidelines set up for Battlefield, uh, Omega Battlefield, if necessary, for game three. Um, those can be any any choice of those stages. Um, and then once we get to top eight, we're going to be going with uh, striking and Genesis rules and all that kind of stuff. And I think I haven't told Josh this, but I think I'm going to take the uh, the Genesis flyer and I'm just going to put uh, numbers on all the stages so that we can have just a faster communication through the discord on what stages you're striking so it'll be one through, I think there's 12 stages or something like that. So we'll just make it quick and easy. So you can say uh, banning four and 12, and that makes it real quick. And then the the person that is choosing the stage can say what they're picking so that both both players can have that stage picked and we'll, we'll get those games streamed on Josh's channel. And who are we doing that with, Josh? Beyond the meta game, not just beyond the meta, which is what I called them last time, but I was just trying to go off of memory. So forgive me, boys. But uh, yeah, uh, beyond the meta game is another <laughs> Smash Bros podcast that I highly recommend you guys check out. They are going to be we're, the four of us are going to be doing um, uh, commentary for the top eight and then immediately following uh, the grand finals. We're going to be recording a podcast with those uh, a special episode of SBC um, with those guys. So it'll be it'll be a good time. Be a good time. And we're also doing the call in shows on Mondays. It's right now, as of right now, it's around 7 30 Pacific Standard Time. That's what we're that's what we're shooting for. It's kind of late East Coast time. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then we're just kind of doing random shows throughout the week too, depending on like if uh you know, if I got if I got a couple minutes here and there, I may just grab somebody out of the Discord and do we want to get character specific uh shows going and that's that has uh that has kicked off with mario mario was our first one so episode 45 was basically a show about mario so they're going to be like shorter episodes just a little more like concise and more just about uh specific characters so um it you know stay tuned like i may put out like a message in the discord or something like hey i need a link i need a tune link i need a you know what i'm saying like there's this is going to be the best way to get good info like good good tips and pointers for you guys with individual characters is having people that are experienced come on and and talk about it so um due to the nature of that style of show microphones may not always be the best we may be recording with headsets so just keep that in mind like i'm always going to shoot for the best production quality possible but you know we may be talking with people that don't have microphones that don't stream that don't do um don't do YouTube, that kind of stuff. So, you know, just bear with us on that. And uh, yeah, that's it for the announcements. Let's get to, uh, let's get to our tournament news. All 
right. Well, we had Smash Conference United last week. Crawler, why don't you uh, give us give us some of those results? Yeah, so we uh, this was down in Florida. Uh, so I know we had a lot of kind of East Coast and Florida Florida people there. This was Zero's first tournament that he uh, decided to go to coming out of retirement. Uh, and here are our results. We had uh, MK Leo with Ike taking taking first over Sam Sora uh, playing Peach. And uh, something about Sam Sora as well. He was the one that gave Zero his second elimination and kicked him out of the tournament. And I think Zero went out in, what did we say, ninth? Yes, ninth place. And then we had uh, Salem take third. MVD, I think still playing Snake, took fourth. And then Mute Ace took fifth. MVD it Snake was, it was, was a, It nasty. was a good tournament. It was, it was. But the MV, MVD Snake is just... It's just dirty. there's grenades and rockets and just <laughs> mortars and everything just all over the place. Literally, I, I can't remember. I don't remember who he played against off the top of my head, but I just remember watching them like constantly running from rockets is what it seemed like was happening. So, you know, and then just the random C4 on the ground. It's like, oh, there you go. It might have been Peach. It might have been a Peach that he was playing against. So, uh yeah, it was it was really, really a, a fun tournament to watch. And it just got me excited for uh, what's to come. Right. Because it's just like we're already starting to see the the uh, just the higher level gameplay. People starting to figure stuff out, picking their, you know, picking their mains. And it's the the best thing about it is just the the variety. There's just so many characters that are being played there, right now. Lots of them are viable. I mean, it's it's interesting just to see how everyone's playing characters and there's no, I mean, we've seen, we've seen snake be dominant in some tournaments. We've seen Pichu win. We've seen now Ike, um, but uh, I, um, zero is playing cloud. I think all tournament, um, but yeah, it's, and Pe- peach Sam Sora took second. He's, he's been playing really well with, with peach, but yeah, there's so many characters. There's not just the, the Bayonetta kind of meta that we have in at that we had at the end of smash four. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So much variety. It's really, really great to see. So that, uh, that's going to do it for our, our, our tournament news, but we got our countdown to Genesis. Closer and closer. We get, we are three weeks away, 21 days. It's getting, we're getting close. I am excited. I am excited. Gabe. Gabe is the guy that's helping us get there. Gabe, we need to talk. If you hear this, <laughs> we don't know where you went, Gabe. <laughs> so we'd love to, we'd love to chat to see what's up. So, uh, fingers crossed. We're still going. And, uh, oh man. Uh, I think today is last day for late sign up. I think I saw them tweeting out today. So you have until midnight tonight on today is what is today the 11th um and then i think it moves to like emergency sign up which i think they charge you a crazy amount so oh, if, really? if you want to go make sure you sign up before tonight if you're listening there you go there you go okay well as far as uh as far as smash news we kind of just got our weekly event which is you know these things are happening um consistently this week's double xp weekend uh for spirit mode and this was kind of interesting this this tweet you you pulled up from uh about from genesis about a controller update let's uh let's kind of break this down so um the melee i don't know if if any of you have been following melee competitive scene there were the box controllers that kind of came out um about probably i don't know how many years ago it was but it, it was a few years ago and there was some contention about them but um moving forward for genesis and it sounds like this might be kind of just a way to move forward since big house eight i think kind of solidified this as a rule set the box controllers will be allowed so smash box and um i don't know if it's pronounced just box or um but it's just bo double x um are two two of those type of controllers and they will be allowed um so if you guys haven't seen what those controllers look like they are pretty insane to see what they are they have c stick but c stick buttons all uh separated out as like arcade style buttons and it's all 
it's all done without a stick or anything it's all just buttons it's pretty crazy so if you want to take a look at those those are pretty cool just look them up they're pretty cool um like but a fight stick a, i think right like street fighter a different kind of what's up right? it's like a fight stick like street fighter pretty much but without the actual analog stick it's all just buttons that's wild that's yeah it is wild <laughs> um so yeah take a look they're like two or three hundred bucks though they're they're pretty expensive but take a look at them and then um it also for melee it says we will be we will be using the adruno adapters so no uc I, I don't know what this all means no ucf but that's for melee but moving forward for ultimate um there will be no controllers allowed with turbo buttons or macros uh enabled and so that rules out the power a controller with the uh the mappable side is it a back button or side button i think i think, I think that's so. kind of what they're yeah so they're they're not allowing those power a i think i think they're wireless they might just be wired i'm not sure but no power a controllers allowed at genesis sorry guys if that's what you're playing with <laughs> you know having those <laughs> macros i mean you know you can set one button for your short hop attack Right. Like you don't have to press two buttons. That makes things that would make things easier. But mm-hmm. they, uh, they they don't want it because you can't do that with the regular um, with any of the GameCube, you know, pro controllers or, or joy cons. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So interesting stuff there. Let's uh, let's get to our talking points. All right. Well, you guys have been using the hashtag ask SBC. All right. And uh, I don't even know how to say this is at. I don't know if it's etic. I. I don't know. We're just going to go with etic. I'm not real sure about the rest of it. So uh, but here's the question. It says I've been using me brawler since I started playing smash and I am considering playing a new character. I'm not sure whether to stick uh, or switch. Can you help me? Carla, kick this one off. Um, I don't think it's a bad idea to have multiple characters. Um, both Josh and I kind of spent more time this week diving into a secondary, a stronger secondary character that we can have to play. Um, you'll, you'll come across matchups that, you you might want to have that secondary character in your pocket that you can pull out if it's potentially stronger learn the matchups that your your main does well against that your secondary maybe does better um against all that kind of stuff me brawler the bra- or the me's in general have in smash 4 have not really been they weren't allowed i guess online even in smash 4 they are allowed now uh you can play them online with uh with ultimate but it also comes with usually well and also in tournaments you have to name your me your move set as well so it's it's well apparent what you're what you're coming into the game with uh move set wise but um but yeah i mean having having a secondary option is never a bad bad thing i i don't i feel yeah i have a lot of people ask me quite often like hey when are you going to switch from mario when are you going to switch from mario and like my my thought is well one we're going to genesis so i have to have a character that i'm at least somewhat okay with right like so that's why i've been grinding so hard on one character playing like playing mewtwo was a ton of fun in this game i did not like mewtwo at all in uh in four but in ultimate i i kind of enjoyed playing with mewtwo a little bit mega man is the other one that I've that I've started playing with, right? And so it 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 really just boils down to you know where you're at, what your goals are, what you, you know, ha- what you want to get out of it. And I think you're going to have more fun playing with more characters. I know as I it's it's nice kind of switching back and forth and I mean, you know, it's back to uh, when I switched to Mega Man, I was not I mean, I can win some matches, but I was probably um I was losing more than I was winning with Mario when I was doing viewer battles. And so that's, that's something that's going to, you know, you're going to just have to take the time to grow with a new character. 
but I think have, you know, you're going to, depending on what level you want to get to, if you're playing a lot of locals, you're playing, you know, you're playing competitively, you're going to get to a point that like, there may be matchups that are just not, not good for you. Right. And so you're going to want to have, have that ability to grab another character to maybe, you know, like even the score a little bit and um, not be just stuck with that one, with that one character. So uh, I I say, absolutely uh, play, play more than just the me brawler and see, you know, see what happens. So like I said, we've, uh, we've been, we've been jumping into some new characters. Crawler, you've been playing Roy. How's that been going? Uh, I mean, it's, it started off really strong. Um, I was playing, uh, we, we jumped in, was that what Saturday night? I think I kind of made the mental, kind of commitment to the fact that I wanted to try to learn a different character. Um, that Corin Corin's movement just is so much slower in this new game. Um, even though the game is faster, she is not as, as fast as she had been. And there's, there's different input issues and stuff that I've come across that this game just has that I've, I've wanted to, I, I can still play her. I feel like I can use her in certain matchups that I, I will want to have, but I wanted to find a more versatile character that maybe had just better overall matchups. I've tried, I've dabbled a little bit in Yoshi. I'm not quite used to the, the floaty jump and, and all that kind of stuff that comes with that. But Roy, I was, I was going back and forth if I wanted to try uh, Roy or Ike and I kind of landed on Roy and just have been playing a little bit. It's, it's been a learning process, I guess, just recovery is a little bit different, but I feel like his recovery is, is better than, than Crom, which is the most similar, uh, being the echo. Um, but yeah, like a problem you've had constantly with your, your Mario up B is making sure that you snap to that ledge. And I feel like even more so with, with Roy, I have to be careful with that just because there is a sweet spot with that, that up B attack that he'll either just land on stage or, um, or there is, there is that, like I said, sweet spot to actually snap to the ledge. So that's a learning curve there. Um, but edge guarding with Roy has been fun when it, when it works. Um, and that's something I've had to, to work about just like the, just stage runoff. So I'd make sure I save both my jumps and, but the fair fair coming off a a ledge fall off for an edge guard is very satisfying to get that when it, when it connects. Love it, man. Love it. Yeah. I was, we, we even threw Mega Man versus Roy. We were doing that, you know, and, uh, like, (laughs) Every like I've had quite a few people tell me your Mega Man is annoying, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because it's the uh, he's an that annoying back air. The, that back air has got great range. And, you know, he's I, I feel like he's a character that has that has. A, a, it's a pretty good kit, right? Everything involved with him is his back air is fair. A lot of projectiles, like probably the thing that's the, the most difficult for uh, the most difficult thing for me to get used to is just his, his a is just those, he just fires those little pellets, you know? And, uh, but even the, like doing the nair that can, it can send people flying, even though it's just, uh, it's, uh, um, it, it looks like it's not going to do much damage, but it ends up, it ends up sending them off pretty good and kind of reset neutral that way. But I mean, one of the things I picked up immediately was like, okay, I could throw a fair. I think I talked about it on last week's show, like just being able to kind of um, get some combos and, and even get somebody off stage with that fair. And you know, there's range, there's range on his back air and he can throw it pretty, pr- pretty easily. I think because of his weight and everything like, so it's, he's been a fun character for me. And I love his death animation when he dies and it, you just see the explosion from the old school games. I love those kind of details and stuff. So, and he's fat too. He's super fat. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he is heavy for sure. For sure. So it's, it's been fun. It's been fun. And I tried a few other, I tried, I tried some Ganon, uh, Ganondorf. I tried a little Bayonetta, you know, and I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep messing around, especially after, after Genesis, you know, we're going to, uh, uh, we still need to figure out what, what's going to be the best combination of kind of our characters for, for doubles as well. Uh, yeah, absolutely. 
Absolutely. I was, I, I'm, I'm kind of leaning more towards Mega Man, but I don't know. I watched, I watched a lot of the, the, the doubles, uh, this last weekend at the, uh, the smash conference. And like, I was, I was seeing Mario do some, some <laughs> nasty stuff, you know? So we'll, uh, we got, we definitely got to practice that. We'll have to jump in with, uh, with the discord and, and get some games against you guys here very soon. I did. I did see numbers, I think today on, on Genesis as well. I think, they said over 1,700 people have entered for ultimate. What? That is, that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. So, all right. Well, hey, let's get into our, uh, our week with Smash. All right. So. How's it been, man? Have you hit elite yet? I I think I I got close that oh, that no. first that first little bit I picked up Roy. Uh like my roster GSP I think is sitting at like 2.4 or something like that and when I picked up Roy, I think I started like just above 2 million and I had a good little run like the first day or two that I was playing. I think the highest I got was like 2.7 and I think that was about the day day or two before it got closer to like 2.9. So I think it was, I think I was like just shy of it at like 2.8, 2.8 and a half or whatever oh, it no. potentially could have been. And then I had a sharp fall down back to back to reality. And then I've worked my way back up. I played a little bit while you were streaming here before we did the show. And I had like four straight, four or five straight losses, which brought me back down to earth. But listening to uh, Antoine yesterday when we were, when we were playing, and just his mentality of of uh, of how he approaches the game, and it's just treat it as a game, have it be fun. I need to work on embracing that because I got I I, I do remember earlier this week I got I think you and I might have even been in a call, but I got hardcore tilted fighting a Corin <laughs> that, that that I I knew like. If we were doing dittos, I would have just destroyed. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm pretty sure they had smash stick on because there were just random smash attacks being thrown out that sometimes connected because <laughs> I'm still working on Roy's spacing and movement and all that kind of stuff. And counters all over the place, just sitting there, just throwing counter down B, just down B, down B. And it, it was it was like I felt like I was getting some of uh smash force timing on on that counter where it was lag. I, I was even trying to be i was overt like very aware of how often they were throwing this counter and i was trying to delay my attacks and and make sure i was capitalizing on on their mistakes that they were doing and they were just kept getting rewarded with late hit boxes on on that counter and it was it sent me i, I went way down in gsp <laughs> that, that was kind of the bottom the bottom of my uh my tailspin there but uh it just felt wrong not to hit rematch that's what's yeah. going on i dc'd i dc'd up the very last little bit I, like they were trying to bro stock me on some stuff and i was just not having it and i i just sd'd i just would run off if they were bro stocking me i'm like no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna have this this way and i just uh yeah i was hardcore tilted so don't 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 be like me. <laughs> What's funny? There's a review in iTunes that said, "Hey, I actually played Nightcrawler as Corin against his Roy, and I want to uh, thank him for uh, all the GSV he gave uh, me. Great show, guys!" <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> no, it's Nightcrawler with no E. So no, I'm just messing around. I'm just messing around. But uh... <laughs> I, were we were we in a call? I, I oh, we were. Yeah, there was huffing and puffing and controller getting tossed around. And, thought, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I was I was like, I was like, are you having fun, man? You, you good? You good? I, I know I can beat this guy. I'm sure you can. But what's your GSP at? It's a negative 14,000. Leave me alone. So yeah. it was I mean, I was laughing like no joke. I was laughing because it was just I was like, I know I know where I, I've been there. I've been there. I know I can about, beat this guy. I'm hitting rematch. <laughs> nope. How about you? Did you do any? I know you did some viewer battles throughout the week, but did you do any GSP or anything? You know, I haven't I haven't been doing much quick play. I where I'm at right now is I know the things that I know, like. 
some of the things I have to work on, right? I've still, even today, like I'm still going into lab and trying to figure out the best way to throw back here. I know this probably sounds silly to some people, but like if you're fox trotting with Mario and then you, you try to throw back air, like with the stick, a lot of times you'll end up, you'll end up, uh, throwing your fair, even though you're hitting the stick in the right direction, or I've even had it throw the back air in the wrong direction. And so I've been trying to just figure out what the exact, uh, it basically what the exact button combination and, and stick combination is. And I started to, uh, I started to figure some of that out today where it was like, it, basically the way it works. I'm going to break it down very, very simply like Foxtrot is you just, you flick your stick in one direction and it makes your character skip. Okay. Like, like, like the way they're running, it's like the, it's initiating your, your dash, but then you're, you're immediately canceling it and then starting it back up again. So that's what a Foxtrot is. So you can move across the stage faster than just dashing. You can also come to a complete stop without doing like you could change direction without having that animation of like kind of the little slide and those frames that you can get punished in. You can immediately turn and move and move away. And it allows you to throw tilts without accidentally uh, throwing yourself into the dash attack animation as well. Exactly. Yes, you can also you can also tilt right out of it. So but where I'm having a hard time is with my back here. Like, so what I figured out today that it's basically like, let's say I am, uh, I'm two flicks of the stick away from my opponent, right. To be able to be within range of my back air. So mm-hmm. I will, um, flick it <clears throat> twice and then I will, uh, flick it the opposite direction, let off, like completely let off the stick, yeah, jump to neutral. It, it gets neutral. So two things have, have taken place. Either my back air comes out or a neutral air comes out, which is not supposed to be happening. But that's what I'm finding is the is the best way to if out of Fox, because that's what I'm really trying to figure out. It's not that I can't throw back airs. I could throw back airs all day long. What I want to be able to get get good with is back air out of my foxtrot and I, I, I oftentimes miss input so that's why i'm i'm trying to figure out the just the the exact button because i know it's there i i know it's there and it it feels weird it feels strange right now when i i go in and do that foxtrot and i'm wondering too like as i'm talking about it just kind of talking about it out loud like i'm wondering if i need to move away from the opponent just a little bit more and then throw the back air, you know? So it's, it's the, the, the button combination that I want to press that in my mind thinks this should be back air actually ends up being a fair, right? Because I'm not, I'm not quite, I'm not inputting something correctly. Or I'm I'm thinking now listening to that as well, you potentially could be accidentally buffering a fair exactly as well. Like I'm doing a little too quickly and that's buffering a fair, which, you know, because I know that my Mario is going to uh, improve the moment back airs become one of those, uh, one of those tools in my arsenal that I throw changes your, that changes your approach game. Exactly. Exactly. And so here's, here's what I've put down for like uh, kind of for like tips this week or whatever is um, experimenting, watching, and labbing it out. So what do I mean by that? Well, I'm, I'm, I've talked about, I talked about it last week. And so I don't want to, uh, I don't, I don't want to just say the same things we said last week, but, but what I, what I've been doing is trying to find those combos, right? (laughs) And I found one today that I could, I can kill I think it's right around, I think 57% with Mario. Okay. Depending on the character. I obviously haven't, I haven't labbed this out on, on heavyweights and everything like that, but on, uh, I was, I was trying it on Pichu, which is light character. So obviously, but then I tried it on pit also. That was the next character that happened. So two, two light characters, but so, but I saw it happen on a, it was, it was anti that actually had a tweet that I saw that I was able to uh, emulate what he did. Okay. And so basically I'm just going to break down the string for you. It could be a, you want to get him to 50, right? So with Mario, I'm, I'm hitting, I'm hitting a 50% combo by down throw, 
down tilt, up throw, up air, up air, and then maybe a back air or a fair or an up B, right? If you could fall, if you're on the edge, you could follow that up with a down throw, take a slight step forward and throw a forward smash. You'll hit them out of the air from the down throw and it kills. It kills on the edge. And so I, that's the part that I saw him like he put this tweet out of like this, this he took two stocks in probably 20 seconds. And I was like, I watched that thing. I'm not even kidding you. I probably watched it like like 10 times. Right. And like rewinding one part, like, OK, that was that move. That was that move. Right. And so I'm trying to like so I do the down throw to the to the the forward smash. And it's not landing. So I'm like, okay, you obviously have to take a step forward and then, yep, sure enough. That's what, that's what, that's and you, what did you got it. that to land even on small little tiny hitbox P2. I did. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, because that's an area I struggle with is getting those, those smash attacks and things like that. And chat has been super cool. Um, you know, like Mr. Cool Red Luigi has been kind of like kind of riding me like, hey, you've got to get get your punish game better. You know, like stop doing a, a grab when you have the opportunity to punish and hit them with a smash attack and, you know, light bulb. Right. Like, oh, yeah, the smash attack could do more damage or it could kill. And so and, I, and other people in chat have said the same thing, like, bro, why aren't you punishing better when when somebody up bees in front of you and you've got all the time in the world to do what you want. You know, do you feel like you forgot about smash attacks when you moved tilt stick on? I don't feel like I forgot about them, but I, f- I feel like I-, I wouldn't say forgot, but I've always been like, I don't know when I had, when I had the C stick on smash, I would on the smash attacks, I would sometimes throw them too often or rely too heavily on them. And then I would get punished a lot for it. Like I would throw my forward smash while somebody was rolling and I would just have my back to them. And then they would, they would punish that, you know? And so, but after like watching, watching Antoine, who was on episode 45, like I've, I've made a point to like throw that up smash a little more often. I've, I've actually seen more kills this last week with my up smash than I have in a long time, because there's actually good range if you turn around and I believe there's some invincibility frames and, and I've been able to catch people like I can just me on one of those, right? I knew where you were going to land and it was like, yeah, this will finish it right here. You know? So it's again, Mm -hmm. I talked about, I talked about it on yesterday's show on episode 45. It, a lot of it just, it, it boils down to experience. Right. And then the other thing too, like taking advice can be tough. Okay. It can be tough. So if you can kill your ego, you're going to have a greater chance to improve. Right. So again, we've mentioned this like from the very early stages of this show, find people to spar with, find people that will give you advice and be okay with that advice. Like be okay with the fact that, yeah, I can improve here. I need, I need to get better because otherwise you're going to find yourself like tilted and, and just frustrated and you know, and the reason I bring this up because this is something I have to do on the regular, my gameplay, my practice time is in front of people. I'm streaming it. I have to get, I get advice regularly, even when I don't ask for it. (laughs) <laughs> and so I can, I can go, Oh my gosh, like, here we go. Like I know what I need to do or I can go. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Right. Like, like there's so much help being offered to me that I want to look at it that way versus like, you know, Oh, here, here, here we go again. I get to hear all the things I'm doing wrong. Like, no, it's a huge help. It's a huge help because I wasn't punishing. Right. And if somebody in chat hadn't spoke up and said, man, why don't you, why don't you punish better? Well, guess what that's going to do? What I said earlier on where I said, oh, I can't, I have a, I have a hard time getting those smash attacks. That's because you're throwing when you have the opportunity to punish somebody instead of, (laughs) instead of hitting with the smash and getting the kill. So it's, it's extremely helpful. So, yeah, but, uh, any, any other, yeah. Mindset is key. Exactly. Exactly. Any other things from your week that, uh, you know, kind of just things that have helped you Um, out or anything like that, any combos that you've come across or any, any, any good videos or anything? Uh, I, I need to kind of sit down. I know zero has a video out about 
I need to kind of sit down and look for some videos. Um, but the biggest thing I, I feel like with Roy is just working on. I I do feel a little one dimensional with just kind of his side B attack. So I I, I definitely want to work on kind of changing it up a little bit. Um, but where I feel like I've seen some like glimmers of of kind of potential with what I can do is if you can catch somebody up in the air. His juggles are just a little different than Corin's, and but he can throw people kind of side to side on the stage depending on on neutral attack or or fair or up air that kind of stuff. So it's it's and his movement around the stage is fast as well to kind of quickly get there and then mix it up again with something else. So that's that's kind of what I've been having fun with. Um, but definitely, there's lots still to look into and and kind of evaluate with how I can improve. Yeah. Yep. Uh, chat but, saying aerials are key with Roy. Yeah. Um, but what I would say as well with um, sparring and all that kind of stuff, guys, if you are looking for somebody, I know Rust Belt had posted earlier this week in Discord, looking for kind of somebody to be on the regular for just a, a sparring partner. So if you guys are looking for something to do that as well, and you want to kind of air out your dirty laundry, not for everyone to see, you guys can uh, look for a sparring partner in the in the Discord and then you guys can just become Discord uh, friends and start your own private chat there. And that's where you guys can do a voice call or a video call or just just text chat. Uh, that's how Josh and I are even doing this this show right now is we're in we're in Discord video call and we have our own thread that we have stuff that we pass back and forth. So you guys can have you can use Discord in lots of different ways than just being in the the servers that you're involved with. Um, so take a look at that. Um, but then I had something else and now I forget. So it's probably yeah. a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I think I think we can wrap this one up. You know, I think we can. Oh, did we talk about what you're doing after the show here? Oh, whoops. I guess <laughs> I guess I'm gonna talk over the music now. So we're doing it live. I mean, in our next section, how's it going at locals? <laughs> <laughs> I guess yeah, we probably should put that in there. Yeah, so I, I, I forgot about that. Yes, I went. To, I went to a local as well last week. I, after after we got done with the show, I went to my second local. Um, it was bigger than uh, it was two weeks ago when I went. Uh, it was eighty six. The 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 last time I went, the second week, I think that was the second week. Ultimate was out. Uh, so last Friday was one hundred and thirteen uh, people entered. Uh, we had more setups. It was. Uh, it was good. I still play. I was still playing corn at that point. I, I'm I'm excited to try. I'm not going to go this week, but I'm going to go next week, I think, and try out Roy and kind of have that option to switch back and forth between Roy and Corrin. Um, but I got about the same results. I went against kind of a seasoned Smash Four player, got O2 um, and sent down into losers. Was able to. Uh, I got. I th- I think I beat the next guy in uh, losers bracket two O, and then I had a really close match in the second uh my second set in losers and ended up going out 2-1 but it was a very close fight against i think it was a link but yeah but it was good it was it was really i mean the biggest thing there is guys you meet a ton of other people that are playing smash a lot of them are going to be i mean potentially better than you depending on where you're where you're coming from um but you can set up low uh, uh friendlies or just also just watch uh, higher higher end gameplay of people like there were 20 stations when i was there so you can just float around when you're not playing and just watch how people are playing different characters you'll see tons of other characters like we've been saying at these these uh bigger tournaments the a ton of characters are viable same with at locals people people have what they prefer and even if they aren't high on that tier list some people find a way to make them work so you can just watch lots of different uh interesting different characters that you might not understand a lot about it, you can see how they play it's it's really good time yeah so i'll be at gameworks tonight in seattle uh it's called like orbit i can't remember the name of the is your is your locals have a have a specific name like Orbitar uh, or something uh, it like that? was it, in in smash 4 it was called four glory fridays i think they're kind of still calling it that um okay yeah they, so in the colorado scene there's 
different um different locations at different different days of the week and they all kind of have different subset names a little bit as well that they're kind of advertised on the facebook page and and elsewhere they kind of have their own name gotcha okay i didn't know if they were kind of all tied together because of it being game works if they did uh um you know just had something similar going on but it sounds like they may be um separate entities and they do uh they do have um they will be streaming this on Twitch. I have no clue who, you know, there's 192 uh, people that are in. Well, I also, so. like, like my first tournament, I randomly got thrown on stream. It just was a matter of happenstance. I think that it just happened that way. So it could just be luck of the draw. You might end up on stream. You never know. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Orbitar is the name of the, uh, is the name of the uh, uh, tournament. So, That'll be that'll be going down tonight. Like I said, when I when I signed up, 192, my son and I are going down together and uh, also made some calls yesterday and found out I have a local in Bellingham that is uh, uh, happening every other Thursday. And so I can basically go to a local every week if I want to. I don't know that I'll go to the Seattle one every uh, every week just because the the. Uh, like parking and everything in Seattle is a, is kind of a nightmare. So, um, but we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. So next week, <laughs> actually, by the time we record next Friday show, I'll have been to two locals. So that'll be, that'll be kind of cool. And I'm, I'm excited. Like the, the guy I talked to is at re it's at reset games in Bellingham. If you're in the area and uh, it starts at five 30, I believe. I think four 30 is friendlies. And then at uh, five 30, the, the tournament starts and, uh, last week for ultimate, they had like 40 people show up, but none of the college kids were back yet from the holiday. So uh, I'm thinking this, it could be, it could be packed. So I'm, I'm looking <laughs> forward to it. Looking forward to it. So, uh, are we, I think we're, we are done now, right? Now we are. We're, I think now, so. Yeah. Now, okay. Here we go. Let's, here we go. <laughs> All right. Crawler, where can people find you? Uh, best spot to find me is hanging out in the Discord, uh, n64josh.com slash Discord. Uh, I guess we're on pace to hit a thousand people in the Discord by the end of the month. If you guys keep it up, how you're coming in. Uh, it's been like nine people a day. It's been absolutely insane. Uh, you guys can you guys can slow it down a little bit on hate. He, he, he called I think he called me out in some kind of video game decathlon or something like we'll have to figure it out but uh <laughs> don't slow it but, down say hey to hate zero if you join not on me I'm I'm out I'm done say I've, crawler I've said to do it okay <laughs> the hate doesn't listen to this probably <laughs> but uh, uh you guys can also find me on uh twitter and twitch uh nightcrawler 724 nightcrawlers without the e um and yeah, I need to need to get get the stream up and going here a little bit. I got a nice fancy light. My chroma key looks a lot better with my green screen now, but I I just need to get it up and going here a little bit more. So uh, look for some viewer battles or me banging my head against my desk playing GSP. <laughs> Love it. Love it, guys. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, all the places. It's N64 Josh. The music you're hearing right now is the Metal Melee theme. You can watch the full video at n64josh.com slash Metal Melee. If you want to get yourself a free book from Audible, go to audibletrial.com slash SBC. The chair I'm sitting in from OP Seat. Go to n64josh.com slash OP Seat. Save yourself $10 at checkout. Guys, we still have a ton of different links and stuff in the in the show notes. Um, a lot of it's for Smash 4. This will update as more videos uh, come out, of course. But there's a lot of good just fundamentals and things like that that you can check out from the links here. So we want to thank everybody for just, you know, showing up week in and week out, listening. So many, like, reviews and kind words, guys. We appreciate you guys so much for listening. And uh, we're stoked to just uh, to keep on going. So thank you again. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye now. Josh's book, Another Castle, coming out on January 15th. <laughs> We're done, Crawler. We're already done. <laughs> Did you hit end? No, we don't have a play out? I still haven't hit it yet. We're still going. <laughs> <laughs>